What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews and today I have another brand new Android TV box I'm going to be reviewing. So this is the H96 Pro Plus Android TV box. So we are going to be doing a quick unboxing followed by a few tests, video tests, full HD and 4K videos, a few Android games, testing Kodi performance and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So you've got the S912 octa-core CPU running at 2 GHz. The GPU is a Mali 820 running at 750 MHz. You've got a 3 GB of DDR3 RAM, 32 GB of eMMC internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 GHz, BGN and AC. You've got Bluetooth version 4, Android version 6 Marshmallow, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second and supports HDR10. So let's get the box open and see what it looks like. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. You've got a gold trim all the way around. That's quite nice. I like that. So this is everything you get in the box. You've got a user manual, a HDMI cable, a UK power adapter, a remote control. This is a full featured remote control and the TV box itself. So this is it, the H96 Pro. Okay, so you have a matte finish on both sides. And in the middle, you've got a shiny reflective plastic. So let's have a quick look at the ports. First of all, over here, you have a micro SD card slot. If we keep going, you've got the Ethernet port there, the SPDIF optical audio connection, a HDMI port, AV port, and that's your power socket there. And on the other side, you have two USB ports, and that is it. And this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. Yeah, it's quite a nice design. It reminds me of the PS4, actually. It's like a mini PS4. Cool. All right, so I'm going to hook this up to my TV, and I'm going to give you guys a full demonstration of what this box can do. So here you go, guys. This is the home screen for the H96 Pro Plus. Um, it's a brand new design that I haven't seen before, personally. Um, You've got three big icons here, Netflix, YouTube, and Google Play. Um, you've got so many different shortcuts and your customizable shortcuts at the bottom. I like you've got some folders here, video and games. If you click on video, you're able to add and remove your favorite video apps and you can fill the whole page up, which I think is awesome. And same with the games. So you've got a separate section there. You've got music section as well. So you could add all your music apps, etc. Okay. So this is the app drawer, which contains all the apps on the system. I've already installed all my favorite apps and games, which I'm going to be needing to test this box out today. First thing I'd like to show you is the different hardware I'll be using on this video. So this is my favorite mini wireless keyboard. It's got a full QWERTY keyboard, navigational buttons, and a really nice trackpad. I put the links in the description for this keyboard in case you guys want to check it out. Okay, this is the G600 controller I'm going to be using for the games. Um, this is... This is near identical to the 360. It feels the same. It looks the same. Um, and it's really good with Android TV games. So definitely check this out. So I've just connected this camera. It's a very, it's a generic, basic, cheap camera. Um, and I'll show you it working on this Android TV box. Okay, I've just connected that webcam. Um, all you do is go to apps and you should have a camera app there in the corner. If you don't have that app, you just go to the Google Play Store and download any camera app and it will still work. Okay, so if I open the default camera app, and that's it, that's all you have to do. You don't have to install any drivers, it's simply plug and play. A very good quality. So there you go, this is a webcam working on the Android TV box and it works great. So now you can do video chat with Skype, Tango, etc. So yeah, a very handy feature, and not a very obvious feature, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Playing 4K clips from a USB drive. 
Okay, so I've just attached my USB pen drive. I've got some 4K and HD clips on there. So I'm going to open up MX Player. That's my favorite media player. You can get it for free in the Google Play Store. So MX Player, go to 4K HD samples, and I'm going to play one of these clips. So that was amazing. Let's try another 4K clip. That looked superb. Uh, let's try another one. I love that video. Okay, let's play another one. Okay, you saw that worked great. So there you have it. I just tested out a few Ultra HD 4K clips. And as you guys just saw, it played amazingly well. So let's move on now. So the next thing I like to test out is the web browser. So let's just go to a website. So here you go. This is the game website loaded quite nice. Um, you can scroll very fast. No lag whatsoever. Yeah, Nintendo Switch. So as you can see, this is a full featured web browser and it works really well. You could actually do your online shopping with from your Android TV box, which I think is amazing. OK, moving on, let's begin our video tests. Um, the first thing I'd like to test is Kodi performance. So let's open up Kodi. So this is Kodi loaded up. Seems to work really smooth. Let's play something. I'm going to play a trailer. I need you to locate someone for me. Her name is Kyra. <laughs> So Cody works great. Let's come out of it. Next thing I like to try is Showbox. So here's Showbox. If I just open something, I just want to play a quick trailer. This operation is your reminder of the terrible thing you did. This is your opportunity for redemption. So yeah, Showbox works great. Let's try out some live TV. <laughs> yeah, live TV is perfect. Uh, let's move on. Let's try some YouTube. Okay, so let's play a trailer. So that was YouTube and yes, it was superb. So the next thing we're going to be doing is gaming. So let's try out a few games. Starting with Starting with does not commute. So 
So that was Does Not Commute. Very, very addictive game. Let's move on to another one. Let's try Pac Man 256. So here we go, I'm playing Pac Man. Yeah, I love it. Pac Man 256. Okay, the next game I like to try out is Auto's Adventure. Okay, that was Alto's Adventure, a really, really addictive game. Okay, and the last game I like to test is this. Someone requested this, so here it is. Can you play Mario 64 on an Android TV box? And I'm using the G600 game controller, which automatically configured itself, so I didn't have to do anything, and it, start, it just works great. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show you guys is Smart Office 2. So this is Smart Office 2. With this app, you'll be able to edit your Microsoft Office documents on your Android TV box. So you could plug a keyboard in and you could edit your documents and then save it or share it on the cloud or even a USB drive. So if we open New Document, it'll give you a choice from a blank Word document, PowerPoint document, uh, Excel, etc. So we open a Word document for 2007, Office 2007, and here it is. And now I can type whatever I like. And then you can add images and photos, and then you can basically save it, or print it, or email it. Okay, and you could also open one of your existing documents as well. So, yeah, a handy tool. But these Android TV boxes are not just for gaming and watching movies. You could actually get some work done on this. Okay, next thing I'd like to do is a Wi-Fi test. So let's open up Speed Test. Okay, beginning Wi-Fi test now. Though you have the results of the Wi-Fi test, you're getting 32 megabytes download speeds and 5 megabytes upload speeds. I am on a 40 megabyte broadband connection, so this is not the fastest speed I've achieved on the recent boxes. So it is what it is, 32 megabytes download speed. Let's finish off with an Antutu benchmark test. Okay, beginning the test now. So the H96 Pro Plus has achieved a total benchmark score of 41,453 for the H96 Pro Plus. So this box is so far the best performing box that I've used. It's got the very high benchmark score. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart. Every time I review an Android TV box, I will update this list. The H96 Pro Plus has surprised me and gone straight to number one on this chart. So it will be very interesting to see which Android TV box I review next and what overall score it will get. So stay tuned for that. So there you have it guys, that was the H96 Pro Plus. It's achieved one of the highest benchmarks I've seen so far in an Android TV box. It's a great all-rounder, the box performs very well with games, streaming, TV, everything I threw at it, it handled. So what I'll do is I'll put the links in the description box below so you guys can check this item out. And if you like it, you can also go ahead and purchase one for yourself. So that's all for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. As soon as I make a video live, you will be alerted first. So this concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.